All right, what's up, guys? Uh, it's me, Don. Thanks for coming out. Uh, gonna be doing a, a new little segment here. Uh, basically, you know how everybody's all crazy about the, the palette art and all that. And, uh, well, I'm one of those people, so i uh, been getting into that. Uh, right now, we're gonna show you how to actually uh, make like your canvas that you're gonna need for you know, making that you know, wonderful art that you're all gonna produce. Uh, so the things that you're gonna need here are, i just keep it here. Uh, we're going to need just some regular uh, Elmer's glue. I uh, got some sandpaper. Uh, we got five, maybe six uh, lengths of that 550 pedal cord. You know, it's useful for everything. I use it. Uh, it just depends on how big your project is, how many you're going to actually need. Uh, so we got dismantled pallet. This is actually a little mini shipper pallet. Uh, then a couple extra planks here that are going to help to hold it in place while it's gluing gluing right you're like Don you don't have any clamps what are you gonna do well I'm gonna show you uh, just the way to rig it I mean if you do have like bar clamps or something more power to you uh, but this is I guess the way to improvise it so here it goes uh, first thing we've taken uh, laid it all out make sure you find you know something that you like something that's suitable for you from there you're just gonna you know, lightly sand inside the whole thing. Um, you know, I've already hit all these up, so I'm not going to bore you making you watch it. Uh, so here's where these come in. Uh, so these are going to actually brace it. So we're going to be using the, uh, the cord here to uh, tie all this off. The uh, problem is if you just tie it tight, it's going to want to buckle. So to get a nice straight, even, uh, you know, glue here. We're gonna fit these together with the brakes. Now you know you break your leg, have to hook you up. Uh, I'm only gonna do this one at a time because otherwise I think it slips too much. You don't get as good of a finish. So. so take run a line down. I mean, you don't need to like overkill it, but uh, don't be skimp and get it all. You just take it and smear it out so it's spread even. Try to keep it off your, you know, your side that your pretty side. I'm sure you, when you're maxing those edges up, decided what you thought was the uh, the pretty side or the the side that worked best with your vision or whatever. Uh, so we're gonna set that aside. The same for the other, but yeah, these are great, man. It's a lot of fun for me, you know. Get to paint them, get to be creative. Um, you know, I'm trying to sell that shit too. If anybody wants it, <laughs> you know, just hit me up. You know, if anybody wants to buy some, uh, kidding but not kidding. Um, all jokes aside, here, so I'm kind of running off a little in the back, which I don't really like. Uh, one other, I guess, thing I should have told you to grab ahead of time would be a uh, wet cloth. All right, cool thing about this glue, if you get it where you don't want to, wet cloth well, before it dries, take that shit right off of there. Excuse my language. I'm trying to get better about that. You know why you don't talk too loudly in a cornfield? Because it has lots of ears. <laughs> All right. So we got this spread out. So we got two sides of the same. Um, do like to let it set for, you know, just a couple of minutes. Just kind of get tacky. I think it bonds a little bit better. So while we're waiting, we'll start to uh, put our brace together. Two boards, thusly. Uh, here's where this miracle creation of paracord, a little power cord if you want. So, oh, it packs some power. Uh, this first one I'm just gonna do kinda snug. Uh, we're not really gonna worry about wrenching it down too much just because I don't want it slipping 
while this other side is still free. I don't want the free side flipping <laughs> like it's trying to. So that'll just hold it in place. It's over here. I guess I should have showed you. So each one of these, uh, you cut them, burn the end off so it doesn't fray out on you. Um, going to tie a basic knot. See that? I hope so. So we get that nice loop opening. Feed it through. This actually allows us to get a whole lot of uh, force going on. So this one we're gonna wedge down pretty hard. And just tie it up through here, keep them holding on that tension. See me use my Zen. Breathe. Don't get upset. That defeats the purpose of doing relaxing activities. Yes. You don't think you're supposed to fight people at yoga and so forth. Don't forget to breathe. The wise woman told me. This is not normally this difficult for me. Y'all know what I was doing. You got any tips for me? Shoot. I didn't claim to be the expert. Just the dude who was brave enough to film himself trying it. Alright, here we go. Because it's nice and snug. And then we'll get these together. Got them in a nice solid contact. That's actually pretty good. I don't know if you can call that all right. We'll do another wrap if we wanted to. Check, be nimble. Yeah, not too worried about that one. This is really just to keep this from buckling. Um, we're gonna put an immense amount of force down here the same type of structure just do it near the end so you don't have that all the way at the end we want to spread that force out as evenly as possible so if you got a bigger project you can use you know more if you have a smaller one you can get away with less obviously let's so make sure that's nice and snug the way you like it winch the shit out of it Get that in the wrap because it helps to hold the tension on there. Just come right up to our first one. Boom. And I promise you that is a lot of force you're able to apply there. Um, you can actually move pretty much anything <laughs> tight down in your truck with just that exact same process. Alright, same process. Making sure we look good here. Sure we like it. Is keeping tension on there for me. Helping me, anyways. Lord knows I can use all the help I can get. Alright. Just once you have all four knots um, securely tied, uh, it's going to be really sturdy. It's going to hold there. Uh, we're going to let it go overnight uh, before we move on. Uh, that's not even true. 
All right, so now that we've got all four spots tightened down, uh, it's going to hold it nice and secure until it dries. Uh, it takes about 30 minutes to bond according to the uh, bottle. So uh, we'll let it go for the 30 minutes. Uh, we'll add you know, the next board, exact same process, uh, just putting glue on uh, both surfaces, putting them together. Uh, but we're going to take off this, uh, these two side bindings and we're going to actually put them around all of them. That's why uh, the ones on the side here, you need to have a little bit longer of a cord. Uh, bigger project, more cords you need. Or, I mean, I guess if this is like la-di-da land and you have like proper equipment, you might just clamp it. You could probably do it pretty slick like. Um, you could also set up two of these at once. Uh, kind of make it go a little bit quicker. Um, obviously, paracord's dirt cheap. Um, I always have lots of it too. I don't know about you. You should. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming out. I'm uh, going to have lots more fun. Um, so the next video, um, I'll have this all completed. Uh, we're going to take it out and uh, have some fun. You know, we're going to talk about uh, the initial treatment of it, uh, how we're going to you know, keep it preserved afterwards, uh, the decision if you want to make it rustic and try to uh, I really like all the tarnish look or the uh, the roughed up look we'll call it. You want to make it look a little beat up, weathered maybe. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, we'll see the rest of them coming. Thanks a lot. Much love.